Chapter 1. The First Americans Before Europeans arrived, the land that is now the United States was home to a diverse array of Native American peoples. These groups, often referred to as tribes or nations, had lived in North America for thousands of years. They had developed unique cultures, languages, and ways of life adapted to the varied landscapes of the continent. Native Americans inhabited a vast territory stretching from the Arctic tundra to the subtropical deserts of the southwest. Their societies varied greatly in size, from small nomadic bands to large, complex civilizations. Some tribes were primarily hunters and gatherers, relying on wild animals and plants for sustenance. Others were skilled farmers, cultivating crops such as corn, beans, and squash. The lives of Native Americans were deeply intertwined with the natural world. They had a profound understanding of their environment and developed sustainable practices to manage their resources. Many tribes believed in a spiritual connection to the land and animals, and their ceremonies and rituals often celebrated the cycles of nature. The Eastern Woodlands region, which includes parts of the present-day United States and Canada, was home to a variety of Native American cultures. The Algonquian-speaking peoples, such as the Lenape, the Powhatan, and the Iroquois, were among the most prominent groups in this region. They lived in longhouses, which were communal dwellings made of wood and bark. The Iroquois Confederacy, a powerful alliance of five nations, played a significant role in the history of the eastern woodlands. In the Great Plains, tribes like the Sioux, the Cheyenne, and the Apache were nomadic hunters and gatherers. They followed the bison herds, which provided them with food, clothing, and shelter. The Plains Indians developed a rich culture that included elaborate ceremonies, intricate beadwork, and powerful warrior traditions. The Southwest region, characterized by its arid climate and rugged terrain, was home to the Pueblo peoples, such as the Anasazi and the Hopi. These groups built impressive stone structures, including cliff dwellings and pueblos, that were adapted to the harsh environment. The Pueblo peoples were skilled farmers, using irrigation systems to cultivate crops in the desert. The northwest coast, known for its abundant natural resources, was inhabited by tribes such as the Chinook, the Tlingit, and the Haida. These peoples lived in large wooden houses and engaged in fishing, hunting, and gathering. They were renowned for their artistic skills, producing intricate carvings, totem poles, and woven textiles. The lives of Native Americans were dramatically altered by the arrival of European colonists. Diseases introduced by Europeans, such as smallpox and measles, devastated Native American populations. Forced displacement, land seizures, and cultural assimilation further eroded their traditional ways of life. Despite these hardships, many Native American communities have managed to preserve their cultural heritage and continue to thrive today. Chapter 2. The Arrival of Europeans The arrival of Europeans in the Americas marked a profound turning point in the history of the continent. European explorers, driven by a desire for wealth, land, and religious freedom, embarked on daring voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. Their arrival had a devastating impact on Native American populations, leading to the displacement, enslavement, and decimation of indigenous cultures. The first Europeans to reach the Americas were the Spanish, who arrived in the Caribbean in the late 15th century. Led by Christopher Columbus, Spanish explorers sought gold, silver, and other riches. They established colonies in the Caribbean, Mexico, and Central America, enslaving Native Americans and forcing them to work in mines and plantations. The Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire in Mexico and the Inca Empire in Peru was a particularly brutal affair. The Spanish, 
aided by superior weaponry and alliances with rival indigenous groups, overwhelmed the Aztec and Inca armies. The fall of these empires led to the enslavement of millions of Native Americans and the destruction of their civilizations. Following the Spanish, the English, French, and Dutch established colonies along the eastern coast of North America. The English founded Jamestown, Virginia, in 1607, marking the beginning of permanent European settlement in what would become the United States. The French established colonies in Canada and the Louisiana Territory, while the Dutch settled in New Netherland, which later became New York. The European colonists brought with them their own languages, religions, and customs. They introduced new crops, animals, and diseases to the Americas. The exchange of plants, animals, and diseases between Europe and the Americas is known as the Columbian Exchange. While the Columbian Exchange brought benefits to Europeans, such as new foods and medicines, it had devastating consequences for Native Americans. European diseases, such as smallpox and measles, to which Native Americans had no immunity, killed millions of people. The arrival of Europeans also led to the forced displacement of Native Americans from their traditional lands. Colonists seized Native American lands, forcing them onto reservations. This displacement disrupted Native American ways of life and led to poverty and suffering. In addition to the devastating impact on Native American populations, the arrival of Europeans also set the stage for conflict and competition among European powers. The French and Indian War fought between Britain and France in the mid-18th century, was a major conflict over control of North America. The British victory in this war led to the expulsion of the French from North America and solidified British dominance in the region. The arrival of Europeans in the Americas was a transformative event with far-reaching consequences. It led to the displacement, enslavement, and decimation of indigenous cultures. It also set the stage for the colonization of the Americas and the development of new European empires. The legacy of European colonization continues to shape the history and society of the Americas today. Chapter 3 The Thirteen Colonies The English colonies in North America gradually grew and developed into distinct societies. These colonies known collectively as the Thirteen Colonies, each had its own unique character shaped by geography, climate, and historical circumstances. Virginia, the first permanent English colony, was founded in 1607. It was initially established as a commercial venture, with colonists seeking to profit from the cultivation of tobacco. However, early attempts at agriculture proved difficult, and many colonists died of starvation or disease. Eventually, the cultivation of tobacco became a successful economic activity, and Virginia grew to be a prosperous colony. Massachusetts, founded in 1620 by the Pilgrims, was a Puritan colony based on religious principles. The Puritans sought to establish a society governed by religious laws and values. Massachusetts was a relatively tolerant colony, but it did not tolerate religious dissenters, such as the Quakers. New York, originally settled by the Dutch's New Netherland, was a diverse colony with a mix of Dutch, English, and Native American inhabitants. The Dutch focus on trade and commerce, and New York City quickly emerged as a bustling port. In 1664, the English captured New Netherland from the Dutch and renamed it New York. Pennsylvania, founded by the Quaker William Penn in 1682, was a colony known for its religious tolerance. Penn established a government based on Quaker principles of equality and religious freedom. Pennsylvania attracted a diverse population, including Quakers, Scots-Irish, and Germans. Maryland, 
founded in 1632 by Cecilius Calvert, the second Lord Baltimore, was a Catholic colony established as a refuge for English Catholics. Maryland was a relatively tolerant colony, but it did not tolerate religious dissenters, particularly Protestants. Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire were smaller colonies that developed from Massachusetts. Connecticut and Rhode Island were founded by religious dissenters who had left Massachusetts due to disagreements with Puritan leaders. New Hampshire was established as a royal colony under the control of the English crown. The thirteen colonies faced numerous challenges, including conflict with Native American tribes, economic difficulties, and political disputes. However, they also experienced significant growth and development. The population of the colonies increased dramatically, driven by immigration from Europe. The economy diversified with agriculture, trade, and manufacturing becoming important sectors. Despite their differences, the thirteen colonies shared a common English heritage and a sense of shared identity. This shared identity would play a crucial role in the American Revolution, which would lead to the colony's independence from Great Britain. Chapter 4. Life in the Colonies Life in the Thirteen Colonies was a mix of challenges and opportunities. Colonists faced harsh conditions, including difficult terrain, extreme weather, and the constant threat of disease and attacks from Native American tribes. However, they also enjoyed greater freedoms than they had in Europe, such as the right to own land and participate in government. One of the biggest challenges faced by colonists was the harsh environment. Many colonies were located in regions with extreme climates, such as the cold winters of New England and the hot, humid summers of the South. Colonists had to build sturdy homes and develop methods of agriculture that could withstand these conditions. Another challenge was the constant threat of disease. Colonists were susceptible to a variety of diseases, including smallpox, measles, and malaria. These diseases often led to high mortality rates, especially among children. Conflict with Native American tribes was another significant challenge faced by colonists. Many tribes resisted European encroachment on their lands and viewed colonists as intruders. This led to a series of wars and skirmishes between colonists and Native Americans. Despite these challenges, colonists also enjoyed many opportunities in the New World. They had the chance to own land and build their own homes. They were also able to participate in government, which was a much greater degree of freedom than they had enjoyed in Europe. The economy of the colonies was based primarily on agriculture. Colonists grew a variety of crops, including tobacco, rice, indigo, and wheat. Trade with Europe was also important, with colonists exporting goods such as furs, timber, and fish. Colonists also developed a distinct culture that blended elements of European and Native American traditions. They celebrated holidays such as Christmas and Thanksgiving, and they enjoyed traditional English pastimes such as dancing, music, and theater. Life in the Thirteen Colonies was a complex and varied experience. It was marked by both hardship and opportunity. The challenges faced by colonists helped to forge a strong sense of community and resilience. The opportunities available in the New World attracted thousands of immigrants from Europe who helped to build a new nation. Chapter 5. The American Revolution The American Revolution, which took place from 1775 to 1783, was a war for independence fought between the Thirteen Colonies and Great Britain. The revolution was sparked by a growing sense of resentment among colonists over British policies that they considered unfair and oppressive. One of the main causes of the American Revolution was taxation. The British government imposed a series of taxes on the colonies, including the Stamp Act, 
the Sugar Act and the Tea Act. Colonists argued that these taxes were unfair because they were not represented in the British Parliament. Another cause of the revolution was British restrictions on colonial trade. The British government passed a series of navigation acts that limited the colony's ability to trade with other countries. Colonists felt that these restrictions were unfair and that they should be allowed to trade with whomever they wanted. In addition to these economic grievances, colonists were also concerned about British military presence in the colonies. The British stationed troops in the colonies to enforce their laws and maintain order. Colonists felt that this was a violation of their rights and that they should be able to govern themselves. The American Revolution began in 1775 with the battles of Lexington and Concord. These battles were fought between British troops and colonial militias. The colonists were victorious in these battles, which helped to inspire a sense of unity among them. In 1776, the Continental Congress declared the 13 colonies to be independent from Great Britain. The Declaration of Independence was a document that outlined the colonists' grievances against the British government and declared their right to self-government. The American Revolution was a long and bloody war. The British had a significant military advantage, but the colonists were determined to fight for their independence. The colonists received assistance from France, Spain, and the Netherlands, which helped them to defeat the British. The American Revolution ended in 1783 with the signing of the Treaty of Paris. This treaty recognized the independence of the United States and established the boundaries of the new nation. The American Revolution was a turning point in world history. It was the first successful revolution against a European colonial power. The revolution inspired other people around the world to fight for their independence. The legacy of the American Revolution can still be seen today. The United States is a democratic nation based on the principles of liberty, equality, and self-government. These principles were first articulated in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Chapter 6. The New United States The American Revolution marked the birth of a new nation, the United States of America. The young republic faced numerous challenges as it struggled to establish itself as a stable and prosperous country. One of the biggest challenges facing the new nation was the task of creating a new government. The Articles of Confederation, the first constitution of the United States, proved to be weak and ineffective. The Articles did not give the federal government enough power to govern effectively and it struggled to address the nation's economic and political problems. In 1787, a group of delegates from the states met in Philadelphia to revise the Articles of Confederation. However, the delegates soon realized that the Articles needed to be replaced entirely. They drafted a new constitution that gave the federal government more power while also protecting the rights of individual states and citizens. The Constitution was ratified by the states in 1788, and it went into effect in 1789. The Constitution established a federal system of government, dividing power between the federal government and the state governments. It also created three branches of government, the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. The first president of the United States was George Washington. Washington was a respected military leader and statesman who helped to lead the country through its early years. He served two terms as president from 1789 to 1797. During Washington's presidency, the United States faced several foreign policy challenges. The French Revolution was dividing Europe and the United States was caught in the middle of the conflict between Britain and France. The United States also had to deal with tensions with Native American tribes, who were resisting the expansion of European settlement into their lands. Despite these challenges, 
The United States made significant progress during Washington's presidency. The country's economy began to grow, and its reputation as a stable and prosperous nation began to improve. The presidency of Thomas Jefferson, who succeeded Washington in 1797, was marked by a focus on domestic policy. Jefferson was a strong supporter of states' rights and limited government. He oversaw the Louisiana Purchase, a vast territory acquired from France in 1803 that doubled the size of the United States. The early years of the United States were a time of great change and uncertainty. The new nation faced numerous challenges, but it also achieved significant successes. The Constitution provided a framework for government that has served the United States well for over two centuries. The leadership of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson helped to establish the United States as a stable and prosperous nation. Chapter 7. The American Civil War The American Civil War, fought from 1861 to 1865, was the bloodiest conflict in the history of the United States. The war was caused by deep divisions between the northern states and the southern states over the issue of slavery. The southern states, known as the Confederacy, relied heavily on slavery to support their economy. They argued that the federal government had no right to interfere with their right to own slaves. The northern states, known as the Union, opposed slavery and believed that it was a moral evil. They argued that the federal government had the power to abolish slavery. In 1860, Abraham Lincoln, a Republican who opposed slavery, was elected president. The election of Lincoln triggered the secession of several southern states from the Union. These states formed the Confederate States of America. The Civil War began in 1861 when Confederate forces attacked Fort Sumner in South Carolina. This attack led to a series of battles between the Union and Confederate armies. The war was fought on many different fronts, including the Eastern Theater, the Western Theater, and the Shenandoah Valley. The Union Army had a significant advantage in terms of population and resources. However, the Confederate Army was fighting on its own territory and had a strong motivation to defend their homeland. The war was fought with great ferocity, and both sides suffered heavy casualties. One of the most important turning points in the war was the Battle of Gettysburg, fought in Pennsylvania in 1863. This battle was a major victory for the Union Army, and it helped to turn the tide of the war in their favor. In 1865, Union General Ulysses S., Grant captured the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia. Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered his army to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, effectively ending the war. The Civil War was a devastating conflict that caused immense suffering. Over 700,000 soldiers died during the war, making it the deadliest conflict in American history. The war also had a profound impact on the nation as it led to the abolition of slavery and the reunification of the country. The legacy of the Civil War continues to be felt today. The war was a turning point in American history and it helped to define the nation's identity. The Civil War also raised important questions about the meaning of freedom and equality and these questions continue to be debated today. Chapter 8. The Industrial Revolution The Industrial Revolution was a period of rapid technological and economic growth that transformed the world in the 18th and 19th centuries. It began in Great Britain and soon spread to other parts of Europe and North America. The Industrial Revolution was driven by a series of technological innovations, including the steam engine, the spinning jenny, and the power loom. These inventions made it possible to produce goods more efficiently and at a lower cost. As a result, 
The economy grew rapidly, and living standards improved for many people. One of the most important consequences of the Industrial Revolution was the urbanization of society. As factories and businesses grew, people moved from rural areas to cities in search of work. This led to the rapid growth of cities, such as London, Manchester, and New York City. The Industrial Revolution also had a profound impact on the environment. The burning of fossil fuels, such as coal and oil, led to increased pollution and climate change. The Industrial Revolution also led to the exploitation of natural resources, such as forests and minerals. Despite its many benefits, the Industrial Revolution also had its drawbacks. The working conditions in factories were often dangerous and unhealthy. Workers were forced to work long hours for low wages, and they had little or no job security. Child labor was also a serious problem during the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was a complex and multifaceted event. It had both positive and negative consequences. The Industrial Revolution helped to improve living standards for many people, but it also led to environmental damage and social inequality. The legacy of the Industrial Revolution can still be seen today in the modern world. Chapter Nine: The Great Depression. The Great Depression was a severe worldwide economic downturn that took place mostly in the 1930s. It began in the United States after a major stock market crash in October 1929, known as Black Tuesday. The depression spread rapidly to other countries, leading to widespread unemployment, poverty, and social unrest. The causes of the Great Depression were complex and interconnected. One major factor was the overproduction of goods during the 1920s. This led to a decline in prices and profits for businesses. Another factor was the unequal distribution of wealth in the United States. The rich got richer, while the poor got poorer, leading to a decline in consumer spending. The stock market crash of 1929 was a catalyst for the Great Depression. When the stock market crashed, investors lost billions of dollars. This led to a panic, as people rushed to withdraw their money from banks. The banks, unable to meet the demand for withdrawals, were forced to close. The Great Depression had a devastating impact on the economy and society. Unemployment rates soared to unprecedented levels, and millions of people lost their jobs and homes. Poverty and hunger were widespread, and many people relied on charity. To survive, the Great Depression also led to social unrest. People became angry and frustrated with the government and the economic system. There were many protests and strikes, and some people even resorted to violence. The Great Depression was a global crisis, and it affected countries around the world. In Europe, the depression was exacerbated by the Great War and the economic instability. That followed. In Asia, the depression led to a decline in trade and a rise in nationalism. The Great Depression was a difficult time for many people, but it also led to important changes in economic and social policy. The New Deal, a series of programs implemented by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, helped to alleviate the suffering of the American people. The New Deal included programs such as the Works Progress Administration (WPA), which created jobs, and the Social Security Act, which established a social safety net for the elderly and disabled. The Great Depression was a defining event in American history. It had a profound impact on the nation's economy, society, and politics. The lessons learned from the Great Depression. Continue to inform economic policy today. Chapter Ten: World War Two. World War Two was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. It was the deadliest war in human history, 
with an estimated 70 to 85 million casualties. The war involved nearly every country in the world at one point or another. The war began in Europe in 1939 when Nazi Germany invaded Poland. This led to a declaration of war by Britain and France against Germany. In 1940, Germany invaded France and the Netherlands, quickly conquering both countries. By the end of 1940, most of Europe was under German control. In 1941, Germany invaded the Soviet Union. This was a major turning point in the war, as it forced Germany to fight on two fronts. At the same time, Japan attacked the United States at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. This attack brought the United States into the war. The war in the Pacific was fought between the Allied powers, including the United States, Britain, and the Soviet Union, and the Axis powers, including Germany, Italy, and Japan. The war in Europe was fought primarily between the Allied powers and Germany. The war was marked by a series of major battles, including the Battle of Stalingrad, the Battle of Normandy, and the Battle of the Bulge. These battles were incredibly costly, with both sides suffering heavy losses. In 1945, the Allied powers launched a final offensive against Germany. In April, Soviet forces captured Berlin, the German capital. A few weeks later, Nazi leader Adolf Hitler committed suicide. On May 7, 1945, Germany surrendered unconditionally. The war in the Pacific continued for several more months. In August 1945, the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These attacks forced Japan to surrender, and the war ended on September 2, 1945. World War II was a devastating conflict that had a profound impact on the world. It caused immense suffering and destruction. However, the war also led to the defeat of fascism and the establishment of the United Nations. The United Nations is an international organization that was created to promote peace and cooperation among nations. Chapter 11. The Cold War The Cold War was a period of geopolitical tension and rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union that lasted from the mid-1940s to the late 1980s. It was a conflict that was not fought with traditional military battles, but rather through economic competition, propaganda, and the threat of nuclear war. The Cold War began at the end of World War II. The United States and the Soviet Union, which had been allies during the war, emerged as the two dominant superpowers in the world. They had very different political and economic systems, and they disagreed on how to rebuild Europe after the war. The United States, a capitalist democracy, wanted to promote free markets and democratic governments. The Soviet Union, a communist dictatorship, wanted to spread its ideology of communism and create a global socialist system. The Cold War was characterized by a series of events that heightened tensions between the two superpowers. These events included the Berlin Blockade, the Korean War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the Vietnam War. The Berlin Blockade was a crisis that occurred in 1948. The Soviet Union cut off Western access to West Berlin, a city located deep within East Germany. The United States and its allies responded by airlifting supplies into West Berlin. The crisis was eventually resolved, but it demonstrated the deep divisions between the two superpowers. The Korean War was a conflict that lasted from 1950 to 1953. It began when North Korea, supported by the Soviet Union, invaded South Korea. The United States and its allies intervened to defend South Korea. The war ended in a stalemate, with neither side achieving a decisive victory. 
The Cuban Missile Crisis was a dangerous confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union that occurred in 1962. The Soviet Union had secretly installed nuclear missiles in Cuba. The United States discovered the missiles and demanded that they be removed. The crisis was resolved peacefully, but it brought the world to the brink of nuclear war. The Vietnam War was another conflict that involved the United States and the Soviet Union. It was a war between the United States and South Vietnam against North Vietnam and the Viet Cong. The United States became increasingly involved in the war, and it suffered heavy casualties. The war ended in 1975 with the defeat of the South Vietnamese government. The Cold War also had a significant impact on the world economy. The United States and the Soviet Union competed with each other to develop new technologies and industries. This competition led to economic growth and innovation, but it also created a climate of fear and uncertainty. The Cold War ended in the late 1980s with the collapse of the Soviet Union. This event was a major turning point in world history. It marked the end of the bipolar world order that had existed since the end of World War II. The Cold War was a period of great tension and uncertainty. It had a profound impact on the world, shaping its politics, economy, and culture. The legacy of the Cold War can still be seen today. Chapter 12. The Civil Rights Movement The Civil Rights Movement was a struggle for racial equality in the United States that took place primarily in the mid-20th century. The movement aimed to end segregation, discrimination, and disenfranchisement of African Americans. The Civil Rights Movement was inspired by the African American Civil Rights Movement of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, led by figures such as Frederick Douglass and W.B. Du Bois. However, the modern civil rights movement gained momentum in the 1950s and 1960s, following the landmark Supreme Court decision Brown v. Board of Education in 1954. Brown v. Board of Education declared that racial segregation in public schools was unconstitutional. This decision marked a significant victory for the civil rights movement, but it was not immediately implemented. Many southern states resisted integration, leading to a period of intense social and political conflict known as the Civil Rights Era. One of the most important leaders of the civil rights movement was Martin Luther King Jr. King, was a Baptist minister who advocated for nonviolent resistance. He led many peaceful protests, including the Montgomery bus boycott, the March on Washington, and the Selma to Montgomery march. The civil rights movement also included many other important figures, such as Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, and James Meredith. Parks, a civil rights activist, refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man in 1955, sparking the Montgomery bus boycott. Malcolm X was a charismatic leader who advocated for black nationalism and self-defense. James Meredith was the first African American to enroll at the University of Mississippi in 1962. The civil rights movement faced significant opposition from white supremacists and other opponents of racial equality. These groups often use violence and intimidation to try to stop the movement. Despite the challenges, the civil rights movement achieved significant victories. In 1964, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act, which outlawed racial segregation in public places. In 1965, Congress passed the Voting Rights Act, which gave African Americans the right to vote. The civil rights movement had a profound impact on American society. It helped to end racial segregation and discrimination, and it paved the way for greater equality for African Americans. However, the struggle for racial justice continues today, as there are still inequalities that exist between African Americans 
and white Americans. The civil rights movement is a testament to the power of peaceful protest and the importance of standing up for what is right. The legacy of the movement will continue to inspire future generations to fight for a more just and equitable society. Chapter 13. The United States Today The United States is a diverse and complex nation with a rich history and a bright future. It is the world's largest economy and a leading military power. The United States is also a cultural powerhouse with a vibrant arts, music, and film scene. The United States is a federal republic consisting of 50 states. Each state has its own government, but the federal government is responsible for national defense, foreign policy, and other important matters. The United States is a democracy, and its citizens have the right to vote for their elected officials. The United States is a multicultural nation with people from all over the world. This diversity has enriched the country's culture and made it a more vibrant and interesting place to live. However, it has also led to challenges such as racial and ethnic inequality. The United States is a major economic power. It has a large and diverse economy with a strong manufacturing sector, a thriving service industry, and a dynamic technology sector. The United States is also a major exporter of goods and services. The United States is a leading military power. It has a large and well-equipped military, and it is a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. The United States has been involved in many wars and conflicts around the world. The United States is a cultural powerhouse. It is home to some of the world's most famous universities, museums, and cultural institutions. The United States is also a major producer of films, music, and television shows. The United States faces many challenges today. These challenges include climate change, economic inequality, and political polarization. However, the United States is also a resilient nation with a strong democratic tradition. The country is well positioned to address these challenges and build a brighter future for its citizens. The United States is a nation of great promise. It is a country that is rich in history, culture, and opportunity. The United States is a country that is constantly evolving and changing. It is a country that has a bright future ahead of it.